what's a what's a tablet good for these days? Surfing the web, it's a bigger screen than your phone. I mean, this is obviously much bigger than a phone, and this is, um, you know, this is just the the smallest version of the uh, the new Kindle. Uh, not the Kindle, the Amazon Fire. You've got me thinking Kindle now. I know. I, I, so you asked the question, what's it good for? I think a lot of people are using it as a laptop replacement. You think so? You see so many now with Bluetooth keyboards, and I think... Yeah, and Jeff, show me what, you, what you're actually using with your phone right now. So oh, yeah, yeah, you with just... my phone, I, I have a Bluetooth keyboard from Logitech. Yeah. And it's just Bluetooth, and so I can use my phone. If I had a tablet... It's kind of like the replacement for the laptop, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah. I think that's why a lot of people use a tablet. They don't have to worry about a laptop. Well, and for social media, like if you're going on Facebook, Twitter, and stuff like that, having something like this is really, really nice. Okay, so a couple of quick first impressions of the Fire 7 from Amazon. I have to say, I mean, m my wife is uh, plant-based and, and cares about, you know, the animal products and things. The case that you buy with it is felt. It's fabric. It's not leather. A lot of stuff. Okay. Isn't it funny Is that, it? like, that? that's actually, like, a consideration these days? Yes. It, it's not... I, I love it. It's not funny to me at all, because that's how I roll. Well, I but say that. Like, it's like, the, yeah, times have changed, right? Times like, have changed. Every, I kind of like the design of that cover, yeah. I have to say. It looks like it's creased in a way that it would... It would work as a prop. It's like a stand, yeah. 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 But so. but as far as the fabric goes, I mean, it is. I say it's funny, but really, it's like it's an actual consideration that there's no like it's not made of leather. And when you start actually looking at that and realizing, like when I'm shopping Christmas gifts, guys, for my wife who is not interested in leather, um, it, it's it's really surprising to find that like every phone case is made of leather. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And so finding that this is a, like a fabric, is like a cotton fabric is nice. And yes, you're right, Sasha. This uh, acts as a stand. Perfect. Um, so it stands up the, the tablet like that or uh, also stands it up this way. So how does it operate? I mean, the, really what it boils down to is these are 20 to 30% cheaper than traditional Android tablets. I got the seven inch version here. There's also an eight inch and a 10 inch version. And you know, how do they look? How do they perform? What is the caveat to purchasing an Amazon Fire tablet? And I always thought, wouldn't it be that it's all branded Amazon? It's all 100% Amazon and I'm not gonna be able to install any of my apps, right? Doesn't, isn't that like the biggest concern that we kind of have to address today? Mm -hmm. Right, but doesn't it have an Android operating system on it? It does. However, it's called Fire OS. It's been rebranded. Right. It's been stripped down. A lot of the features have been removed. There is no Google Play Store. There is instead um, the Amazon App Store. And the Amazon App Store is vast, and it may be absolutely sufficient for you. But if you're an Amazon user, uh, or pardon me, not an Amazon user, but a, a Google uh, Android user, you might want to look for things like Chrome. Like you want your browser, right? So let's do a quick search here for Chrome within the, uh, the Amazon App Store. And I, I get a search engine. I get, like I'm not getting the Chrome browser. Right. It's not available to me. Uh, another one that is a, a big caveat for me is like YouTube. So let's do a search for YouTube. And when I do a search, I get video for YouTube. I get like, I'm getting search results, but not apps. Right. But I mean, this and there aren't any apps like the proper app for YouTube is not available. Right, mm -hmm. but that's because of the war between Google and Amazon. I mean, when is you Is it go a war? To, yeah, as far as applications. I mean, even between like the Google Home and the Amazon Echo devices, yeah. you right. can't access like Google Music or anything like that on, sure. a, on, on an Echo okay, device. Okay, fair so, enough, fair enough. So, I mean, so Amazon has, has separated that mm -hmm. entirely. There's this wall that goes, it's Google, not having it. <laughs> Which is a big concern for somebody sure. who's heavily into Google. Yeah. And, yeah. and so I say that. I, I want to give you that caveat in that this is my concern with purchasing an, a, an Amazon Fire tablet. This is what I feel like I'm going to be limited to. I'm not going to be able to have access to YouTube and Chrome and things like that. And then you realize, so I want to show you this, folks. 
because I want you to know that you can save 20 to 30% by purchasing one of these because what I've actually done is I've installed Google Play. Oh. Yes. As you, an APK? As an APK. Oh, so, okay. so what I've done is I've activated uh, third-party APK installers, and I've simply downloaded the four APK files. It's very quick. And uh, information at cat5.tv slash fire is going to show you how to do that. But now I've got Google, uh, uh, pardon me, Google Play installed. So then I installed through that Google Chrome. Right. right. So I've got Chrome properly installed and I've got the actual official YouTube app as well. Um, so all of those things are available through that third party um, installation if you activate. Oh, and look, we're live. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like Sasha. Cool. And I. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you are. Oh, that is trippy. Crazy. Whoa. <laughs> that's actually me right now. Whoa. That's funny. Whoa. Is that the wrong stream today? <laughs> okay, so I mean, that's, that's brilliant. pretty quick. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, even even from loading it and streaming it, that's only a few seconds behind. And so sure. for, for <laughs> that's for the, just the YouTube app. No, no, I get that, but the point is like it loaded quickly there and it was instant play. There wasn't a lot of buffering. So that tells you from yeah. a, a hardware standpoint mm -hmm. that it can keep up fairly well. Oh, yeah. Specifications-wise, Jeff, I mean, it's a, a quad-core processor, and it's got a gig of RAM. And, uh, and, and now a couple of things. I mean, of course, you're, you're always limited to the storage capacity of these types of devices. But this one does have an SD. Uh, I better, I better turn, it turn off. off my screen first. If I pull it out of the case, you can see that it does have a micro SD port. So you can stick a micro SD card in there okay. up to 512 gigabytes. So that's going to give you a ton of storage, right? For your apps or right. pictures. It does have a forward facing and rear facing camera. You can see all the specs at cat5.tv slash uh, fire. Um, and that's going to show you uh, like some information about the specifications. Now the seven inch has got a mono speaker. The eight inch has got stereo speakers and Dolby sound. It's going to have better sound presumably. And the 10 inch of course is like miles above, but realistically, I mean, when it comes down to the price, these things like the, the one caveat that I had, the one concern that I had was being limited to, uh, Amazon software. But then realizing that, you know what? I can install the Google Play Store through an APK. Right. And then I can install anything that is available in Google Play. It, Which it, is everything. It has completely untied my hands as far as this tablet goes. Right. So now I'm able to purchase a tablet for 20, 30% less than the equivalent specification price. Like if I was to buy just an Android tablet and it's pretty good. It's, it's pretty decent. I'm, I'm, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Um, of course it's got Bluetooth, so I connect it to my Bluetooth speakers. That gives me better sound because the sound in the seven inch is pretty, um, yeah, you know, it's a little speaker down here, right? as you would expect. And s as silly as it is, so this is the case that you buy separately. Uh, even though it's a great case, it covers the speaker. Oh. oh. So, so if I was listening to a podcast... You can't close the lid. And I close the... Because typically I would listen to my podcast like that. Well, this there there isn't an opening for the speaker, which I think is stupid. That's the one the one flaw I've found so far now is just it, that. Can and it's you, such a simple thing, right? Can you swap the tablet around within the case? Because it seems fairly... No. Like, is there... You could... Like but are there buttons on the side or are they on the top? No, they're on the top. But it, that's not going to make a difference, Jeff, because at least there's an opening here when the case is clo uh, is open. Mm -hmm. On this side, there's not. Oh, right, because right? that's actually in the case. Yeah, okay. it's in the case itself. Darn. So it's just one of those, like, they didn't think that through. That's the one thing they didn't think through. But that's the case that is sold separately. So this is a $20 case, which, as you say, Sasha, is, is pretty cool because yeah. it does work as a stand. Right. So you can watch your shows like that, and it stands it up. And you can watch your shows like that or surf the web or whatever you want to do. Uh, and it works very, very well. And it's magnetic as well. It clasps. Like it, it kind of clips on and doesn't open up. 
right? Right. right? It's it's pretty nice. Okay. I really do like the case. I just don't like the fact that when you close the case, you lose the speaker. Right. That's the only thing. Okay. Now, we have a question in the chat room. I mean, you've talked about adding apps through APKs. What about uninstalling and removing the onboard apps that it comes with? Is there that ability, or are you stuck with what Amazon has put on there? Oh. oh, yeah, good question. Um, okay, so let's say, I mean, I don't know, like there's not, I'll say this, there's not a lot of cruft. And by cruft, I mean like excess stuff that you just don't need. Like it's really, really nice to be able to pull up, like there is like books with Kindle, there's Amazon Music, right? Like you've got all this, you've got access to all this stuff and it's going to log into my Amazon account, presumably. Amazon Music Prime. It's got Prime. It's got Prime Video, everything else. Uh, so do you really want to remove that stuff? I don't know. But can you? Let's try. So let's grab books. Mm -hmm. And there is an uninstall button up here, which is disabled. Oh, it's, so you cannot uninstall it. Right. Okay. So and, which is pretty typical of any tablet, mm -hmm. that you, like the, well, the I mean, branding, right? You can disable uh, even if you can't oh, sure. uninstall it. Right. So, I mean, it's interesting that they won't even let you, like there's not even a disable popping up. Oh, well, the thing is, Jeff, that you could install a new dashboard, for example, and be able to control you, the icons that you see. Right. So okay. as far as disabling goes, it's really just about shortcuts, right? Right. Uh, but these are just the basic, it, it, as I say, so don't let that be something that, makes you go, Ew, you know, like, oh, it has the Silk browser. Well, you can install Chrome, yeah. and then you can set Chrome as the one that is the icon that is, you know, like I can put the Chrome browser right there and take Silk and get it out of there, right? right? And so now Chrome, as far as my screen goes, is the, is the browser that yeah. I see, right? Okay. So, and, and again, you, can, you could, because I now have Google Play, I could install other uh, environments as far as the, the dashboard goes. Right. So I can make it look a little bit more to my liking as well, get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need. I can tell you at home that the one thing we use our tablet for is just video chatting with like Dave's family yeah. in Newfoundland, mm -hmm. and this would work perfectly for that. Right, yeah. like it's the right size and. Yep. Yeah, works. I think so. Yeah. So for sure. It's the sort of thing I'd like for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know what all you have ex explored with this device as far as the software goes. I mean, maybe this is a new device for you, but what about things like the virus virus protection and, I mean, I know with the. It's with Android, Jeff. You've, no, no, I understand that. But now that you've got Google on there, you can install, you know, your ESET or something like that. Yeah. But with what it comes as a base software, because it's kind of mm -hmm. been cleaned out Android, is yeah. it still safe or is there some holes in there now because of the Amazon proprietary stuff? No, right. no, nothing like that, Jeff. It's all good? It, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. And and as as you say, so like ESET, so, and, now, and I was just, as you were talking, I was like, oh, well, how does the forward facing camera look? And it looks well, you pretty good. Hey, how you doing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Boom. Okay, so let's, let's bring up the apps. Uh, sorry, I'm going to say Google Play, right? Yeah. Oh, and there we go. I'm getting lost here. There. So it's down at the bottom now that I've installed it. I can move it up. And let's do a search for ESET. Because, uh, like, now I've got Google Play installed, right? Mm -hmm. So why would I have any trouble installing my ESET mobile security? No, you shouldn't. I just didn't know from, mm -hmm. a, from an actual software standpoint if there was you know, some bells and whistles in the removal process that nah. you probably needed from a security standpoint. Like, I don't, I know, like, with, because I, my phone runs Android, and I'm constantly getting the updates, another security yeah. patch, security patch, and I don't know how on top of the updates and security patches this is, well, because it's an, it's not quite Android. I mean, it is Android, <laughs> but. Fire OS. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Um, and, and so a part of it is saying, yeah, I trust Amazon is going to keep things up to date. And, and I think that it comes down to, I can buy a tablet, like an Android tablet from some Chinese manufactured um, like company that does not support their stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I've been there where like the, the, some of the set top boxes that I bought that are Android based become obsolete a year later and you cannot update them because they're not supported by the manufacturer. Right. This is Amazon. 
they're like yeah. they're going to support it. It's going to be supported. So you know that even if it's not stock Amazon, uh, stock Android, it's going to have support in the Fire OS as right. well. Now, I suppose it would be compatible. Like I have a Fire Stick at home. Yeah. And then if I had the tablet, I could mm-hmm. start watching a show on my Fire Stick. Yeah. And continue watching it on the tablet? That's right. And you can actually take so, what's called... Uh, so if you bring up, say, uh, Prime Video, for example, Sasha, yeah. you can use what's called second screen in order to cast... It's basically like mirror casting to oh. your Amazon Fire Stick. Um, that said, there is a lack of mirror cast capabilities within this device. So if you're looking to be able to cast... Um, how would you say? So if you're watching video, mm-hmm. it's go- you're going to be able to cast it. Sure. Yeah. But if you want to cast the whole screen, like here tonight, for example, here live on Category 5 TV, I'm having to hold it up to a camera. Right. Right. Because, I'm not able to yeah. cast this to your screen because it does not support Miracast. That's right. kind of a difference that you would say mm-hmm. that there is between uh, a true Android tablet versus this one. But is that going to affect the average user? Probably not. I think that's only going to affect the broadcaster mm-hmm. because you can bring up Prime Video. You can bring up YouTube once you've got it installed and you can mm-hmm. cast that to your, your display. If you've got a smart TV or right. you've got a Chromecast or something like so that. So it's like practically perfect in every way. Well, theoretically. Now, how Being long, that, how really long have you had this device? Because I, I have a question about uh, targeted advertising, but I don't know how long you've had it. Uh, I haven't had it long, but I, I have a feeling I know where you're going. Uh, where do you think <laughs> I'm going? <laughs> well, I know that there is ads, uh, like cause it's an Amazon device, right? So right. you do sometimes get some ads, and if you long press on the ad, you can actually disable them. So just keep that in mind. Right. And so not necessarily the ads, but what I'm thinking is because we now live in, you know, a a world where there's more and more connected Amazon devices. Yeah. I mean, for years we've been dealing with the whole, you know, Google tracking, so to speak, where, you know, you Google something and suddenly it's popping up on ads. Sure. I was just talking about that and now it's on (laughs) Facebook. What? does the same thing happen with this because it's an Amazon device? Is it reading all the stuff that you're doing and suddenly no. you're now getting targeted Amazon? Oh, gosh, Jeff. <laughs> no, but this is a legit question for people who are concerned about that privacy and, the, and targeted advertising. Right. Because it's an Amazon device, I just didn't know if there's some extra targeting that you've noticed. Like maybe... They're like, we, we've you know, noticed you're no watching more. these things, so we're shipping these things to your house immediately. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, no more than yeah. you're already used to, no? right? Okay. Like, that, like this is the world yeah. that we live in. So yes, if you are searching through Amazon, it's going to track kind of what you're looking at, and then it's going to pro- provide advertising for it. Right. Because there is shopping and stuff like that. Of course. Okay, but it's no it's no different than what we're already used to, um, and and I should say um, one of the things because some people are like, hey, well, what what difference is there as far as the um, it does have a lack. Play some music. Everybody's like, device is going off at home. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a station you might like, Platinum Pop, on Amazon Music. Right? Okay, Amazon so music whatever. I don't want to. Okay, that's fine. Would Alexa. What's the weather forecast? So, like, things like that, to be able to just talk to my tablet, it's kind of cool. Yes. I don't know if I talked too much. Maybe she was still listening. Alexa, what's the weather forecast? In Barrie, it's 16 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. I like that it shows me. Look for snow flurries with a low of 15 degrees. It's a little more interesting than just... Ask yes. like just bringing up an app or something like that, and it's a lot. Uh, it's quite helpful as right. well. And I've actually used it to like uh, you can brighten the screen, you can turn up the volume, you can do things like that. Like general Android controls, you can do by voice now, thanks to the Amazon Echo integration with the tablet as well, which right. is, it takes it to the next level for mm-hmm. me. Right. Makes it easier for or for kids to use or people with visual issues right right oh yeah but also it being that i already have some amazon echo devices in my house Mm -hmm. i can immediately start telling it to turn on my christmas tree or turn turn off the lights in the living room or you can broadcast to the family through that i can yeah or or do things like okay uh alex volume eight i just want to turn it up for you guys alexa what's the temperature inside it's 
Wow. She likes it hot, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to pay the bills. So Alexa, set the temperature to 73. The heat's set to 73. Right? Like, uh, so I'm doing that from my tablet from the studio on the other side of town. And it, that, that's just one feature. Yeah. But, and then from the Android perspective, yes. Because I can install Play Store, I feel like this is actually a valuable device. And I've saved 30% in order to buy it. So is that the official assessment that you've got, that it, 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 it does perform as well as any of the other Android tablets and it's worth it for the money? <laughs> is it worth it for the money? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And specifications-wise, it has some great specs. Check it out, cat5.tv slash fire, and you're going to learn all about that. But yeah, specifications-wise, they're fantastic for the price. Okay. And it would for sure get here by Christmas if Dave were to, like, order it. Yeah, Dave. Yeah. yeah Dave. Dave's like, I wasn't watching. <laughs> oh, no. Every single Dave who's watching just sent you one of those. Oh, my God. Uh, there, can't be, there can't be that many Daves out there. No, not a lot.